Okay, in this video, we're gonna walk through the cloud CMA integration here at Thanks.io. What I'm scrolling through now is an example of one of our simple cover letters going out. There's a QR code that will allow the person to get a full version of the report and explore some other options, which I'll show you in a minute here. And then you can attach selected pages of your uh, cloud CMA automatically within the envelope that gets sent out. So two approaches you may take with this are the, hey, thanks for requesting your home value that I just showed you. So here's a more expanded script here where you offer and you do the call to action to scan the QR code to view the full report. You give your phone number if they want to reach out about selling. Uh, and then the other version of this that you can try is a more expanded cold prospecting sort of farming letter where you, you use a, more words uh, and you offer uh, the report, but you more or less attach it by default, right? So you just attach it uh, without them having asked for it. And then you tell them to scan uh, to see the full report, you know, within the body of this letter. Now I'm going to walk through how to set this up and how to ha have this happen automatically. Actually, I glossed over a detail there. The QR code, let me show you where that goes first. So the QR code goes to a page like this, it's mobile optimized, and they can choose a few of these options right here. You'll collect contact info uh, in return for getting any of these options. But uh, it's important to note that on the QR scan, you are notified in real time, as with everything else with Thanks.io. So whether they continue the action here to get the full uh, CMA, or you know they choose to refinance or to sell. For example, if they click sell, they'll give you their email, and then it'll automatically open their phone to call you, and it'll email them the report. Uh, you know, whether or not they do these actions, you're getting the info, which is pretty awesome. And they, of course, are getting automatically the full prepared CMA, as you can see here that Cloud CMA created. Now let's get back to how to set this all up. So when you're in a message template in Thanks.io and you create a either a windowless letter or a windowed letter, I'd suggest the windowless, it's just gonna feel more personal and less commercial. Um, when you select that and you created your script in here, you're gonna go down to the bottom where it says real estate agents hook up your Cloud CMA account to send automated CMA reports. You're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna plug in some information. So now I'm back in my Cloud CMA account. By the way, you may have access to this and not even know, know it. I think about half the, it seems like half the MLSs or more in the country actually give you Cloud CMA for free, which is one of the reasons we did this integration. We know that a lot of uh, real estate practitioners have access to this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your little icon at the top right here, and you're gonna go to account settings. And then you're gonna go down to where it says integrations right here. And if you scroll all the way down at the bottom, what you need is your API key. So I'm going to copy that, head back into this section here at the bottom of my letter, and I'm going to plug in the API key. Plug in your phone number. And you can plug in your lender's info if you want. Uh, that is not required. Their, their info will just show up in various places through the flow. Uh, now, one thing that I just skipped over and is very, very important is you're going to want to choose the pages that get included with the report. So you can send the whole thing. It's just going to cost you a little more. It is 10 cents a page uh, when you send uh, for the additional attachments through the system. Or you can tease and say, hey, you're getting, you know, here's a few pages of synopsis, but then you're going to scan that QR code to get more, to induce more QR codes. So the way that you control with which pages go out here is you're just going to want to create yourself an example report. So let me uh, open one up here. And then you're going to pull out the pages that you want to go. And uh, what I, I would recommend and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these two pages here. that have the main meat of the comparable. So in my case, this is page uh, seven and eight. Maybe you wanna include page six, that's fine. So I can say, hey, send seven and eight. And then back from the back, there are sometimes some useful pages. Um, like this one's pretty useful. That's one, two. So I might also wanna send the third page from the back. So what did I say? Seven and eight, and then the third page from the back. So it's a little complicated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type seven comma eight, and then I'm gonna do comma 
negative 3, and you can't have spaces between any of these. I know your head's exploding. Mine did too the first time. It took me a minute to get this. Just know that if you send us one of your reports, we can make sure that you've got this set up right. You just say, hey guys, I want these pages, and we'll make sure you did it right. But what I'm doing here is I'm setting 7, 8, and then I'm setting the third page from the back, and then my call to action will be to scan the QR code that gets placed on the letter automatically in order to see the whole thing. So I'll save that, and now anytime this letter is sent from the system, it will, uh, it will include the class name report with those pages and the QR codes that they can scan and go to that page I was just showing you a few minutes ago. Now, let's talk a little bit about the two scenarios. One, where you're going to follow up with leads, as I showed you. You're going to say, thank you for requesting value on my website. Um, here's the report. And one where you just cold prospecting and farming. So we'll start with the automated follow-up. And for context on that, I'm going to hop into our campaigns page right here, and you'll see that I've set up a campaign action that says, hey, anytime somebody lands on my home value leads mailing list, which I've created in the system, I want to send my main letterhead, which is called brand builder image in my case, you call it whatever it's called for you is what you would send out. And I want to send that message template with the home value report attached that we, I was just showing you on the screen. And I want to send that one day after they're added to the list. So what this means is that you can either then go into that mailing list and you can manually add people to it by clicking add to list anytime you want to send a report out to somebody, right? Or you can use Zapier, which we've talked about in the, the tutorial series. If you're watching our main tutorial series at Thanks.io, just know that we connect up to Zapier. So in theory, you could get a home value report through a street text, a KB Core, a Chime, whatever systems you're using. And you can send a trigger to Thanks.io uh, that would automatically mail out everything that I've just shown you. So that's how to do the follow-up. It's either going to be by, it's going to be by sending, setting up a campaign rule that triggers the letter as people are added to your list, and then you can either manually add people to the list or you can use automation. You could even upload people all at once from a CSV to the list and then let the automation send it out. Here's the second way that you might use this, and this is the farming route. So if I go to mailing lists again, and I say, hey, I want to add a mailing list, and I want to do a radius search. So I did that a little quick. Let me do it again. Add list, radius search. You can pick the ground zero, so to speak, location. And say, I want to send a prospecting letter to the 50 nearest neighbors. Uh, and let's make it 50 nearest neighbors who have home equity, who own their homes free and clear, or who have home equity 50% plus. You can see these different categories here. I don't want to include cat, cat, uh, condos today. Uh, and that's good, and then I can just go in here and buy a mailing list, like so. And that will add the mailing list to the system. And then I can simply use the step-by-step -step wizard to send, send a push to this mailing list. So let's go up here to step-by-step -step wizard. I'll choose my window list letter. I'll choose that template that I just created that was connected to Cloud CMA. I'll hit continue. I'll choose my message template. This was the one, the longer, this was the longer form one. That's like a cold prospecting. And I'll hit save and continue. And then I will choose that existing list that I just imported with the 50 recipients. And I will send to that. So uh, again, two routes here, uh, cold prospecting. I need to go back and get my QR code call to action in this. I'm just noticing. Uh, cold prospecting like this, you build the, you build the list directly in the system, or you can upload it uh, from another source, uh, prop stream, whatever you use, and and do that. Or as an automated trigger using our campaigns feature, as you get seller leads through your home value page, you can trigger it that way. Either way, uh, just know that you can automatically send a report with Cloud CMA. All you need to do is plug your API key, API key in, and know that as always, the, the staff here, the team here at Thanks.io is always. Uh, here to help you if you run into any hurdles with this, especially this crazy comma stuff <laughs> that you get to see right there. Uh, just let us know. We are happy to help right there. So thanks for watching this video about the Cloud CMA uh, seller prospecting integration here at thanks.io.